I don't suppose you're little old or anything. No. <laughs> well, I have some wonderful caramels over the hotel and Mr. Hill. Professor Hill. Professor of what? At what college we get a degree for annoying women on the street like a Saturday night rally in a public dance hall? Oh, I wouldn't know about that. I'm a conservatory man myself. Here in Indiana. Old known class of hot five. Even should that happen to be true, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? And another thing, Mr. Hill, I'm not as easily mesmerized or hoodwinked as some people in this town, and I think it only fair to warn you that I have a shelf full of reference books in there, which may very well give me some interesting information about you. Hey, Gregory! Marcellus! And don't call me Greg. How'd you make out that music teacher? Scrumptious. <coughs> hey, out of my hand, the minute I tip my hat. She did? Boy, you cut a swath tonight. Well, man, I even thought you knew something about leading the band. Just like you used to imitate that band concert fellow back in Joplin. Yeah. La 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 la. Ah, kid stuff. I'm in her phone these days. Just keep watching for the next four weeks. Four weeks? It used to only take ten days for the instruments to ride. It still does. But it takes four weeks for the uniforms. Oh no, Greg. You haven't added uniforms. Uniforms and instruction books. Instruction books? But you can't pass yourself off as a music professor. I mean, not for any four weeks. Ma. But you don't know one note from another. Well, I have a revolutionary new method called the Think System where you don't bother with notes. But in four weeks, the people who want to hear music, you'll have to lead a band. Well, when the uniforms arrive, they'll forget everything else, at least long enough for me to elect to leave. Oh, this is a refined operation, son. And I have this time down to the last wave to break man's hand on the last train out of town. Go ahead, Mr. Watson. If you'll excuse me. You gonna line yourself up a little canoodle with huh? Well, Say, I could fix you up with Ethel's sister. Lovely girl. Teacher Sunday school. No wide idea your wholesome innocent Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of gal spins webs no spider ever. Now listen, boy. A girl who trades on all that dirty merely wants to trade my independence for her security. The only imperfect she will pile refers to marching down the aisle a golden glorious gleaming pristine goddess. No, sir. Oh no, Diana, do I play fun? I can tell you that right now. I snarl, I hiss, how can hundreds be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz, for the lady who knows what time it is. I cheer, and I rain, for the virtue I'm too late to say is the sadder but wiser girl for me. Your foot! 
the way you raised it just now. Oh, well, I have a bunion there that bothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a grace. What natural poor rhythm. What expression of line and movement. Mr. Hill. You must accept the chairmanship for the ladies' auxiliary. Mustn't you, ladies? Oh, yes. Every move you make is a shin. He speaks. Thou sucker. Will you, Mr. Shin? Will you? Say yes. You Lely McKechnie Shin. Uh, well, that is dancing. Then you accept. Yes, indeed. And I would like to say. Thank you. Now the young lady who plays the piano. A Marion Crew, I believe. Well, after all, she is the librarian. Take a little, tuck a little, pick a little, tuck a little, cheek, 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 tuck a lot, pick a little more. Thank <laughs> you. 